Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. It looks like we're doing daily videos in February at the moment because there's just so much happening in the PS5 scene right now. It's honestly quite difficult to keep up with it all at this point. But anyway, we have two new plugins that have been released for ETA Hen. We've got Air PSX as an ETA Hen plugin and we also have a plugin to patch out the universal data registration messages that pop up when you run PS5 game backups uh, when running that plugin. And also Air PSX as a plugin is huge because that is of course the remote management software I covered in a previous video, which allows you to access the file manager and also remotely launch applications, back up your save files, run scripts and many other things on your console from a remote desktop running on a web browser on another device. It's going to, I believe it's going to be the go-to way to interact with your PS5 in the future over the network. Um, and the good thing about it now being a plugin for ETA Hen is that it can run in the background which means it does not disconnect anymore when you switch between different applications, which now means we can properly use the application launching feature of Air PSX so that we can switch between different apps. I can go straight from one application, one game into another by remotely launching it from my computer, which is an awesome feature that's now properly up and running thanks to the plugin version of Air PSX. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to get both of those plugins set up and installed here in this video. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at how to get these set up and installed. So first of all, we switch over to our PS5 and run the jailbreak and then load the ETA Hen payload. Make sure, of course, you note down your IP address in the host as well, because we're going to be connecting with FTP. So once you have ETA Hen successfully loaded, we can switch over to our computer. And on the computer, we're going to download the airpsx.plugin file here. And also I'll download the latest build of the test plugin, which will disable the error messages, the universal data registration error messages. So I'll download the latest binary files there. It appears that you do need a GitHub account to download these binaries. So I will leave a separate download link in the description, probably a media fire link that you can use to download it if you don't have a GitHub account so that we are all set. So from here, we can just extract those over to our desktop and then we can open up a FTP client like FileZilla or WinSCP or, you know, FTP from within Windows, whatever you want to use. And then we're just going to enter the PS5's IP address, of course, in the host box. And the port number is going to be 1337 for ETA Hens FTP. It's 2121 if you're using John Torblum's FTP. And then from there, we're going to head, of course, into the data folder and then the ETA Hen folder. And then we should have a plugins folder in here. We're going to go in there. At the moment, I only have the Illusion Cheat plugin, which I think is the default plugin when you first set up ETA Hen version 1.9. Uh, this should work on 1.9 and 2.0, I believe. But if you do run into any problems trying to use the Disable Error Messages plugin, then I would say make sure that you're running ETA Hen version 2.0, uh, the pre-release build, just because it is the most up-to-date version of ETA Hen, which could eliminate any problems that might be being caused by an older version like 1.9b. But generally, it should work on 1.9b and 2.0. So we'll take the Air PSX plugin and we'll just drop that into the plugins folder here and get that transferred. And then we'll do the same if we go into the plugin samples and go into our bin folder. We've got the error disabling plugin. You just want the dot plugin file and you're going to copy that in there as well. So with that, we should be good. We can go ahead and switch back over to our console and we should now be able to enable some of these plugins on our PS5. So let's head over to our settings and we'll head down to our debug settings. And then we've got our plugins and here they are showing up right here. So we can enable the Air PSX plugin. Now this, ver this does take a little while to load. So just give it a few seconds for it to actually load everything. Okay, and there we go. So that did take a little while actually. I just skipped some of the time there, but it took a few seconds. And uh, then we should get a notification once it's actually loaded successfully. We'll get a notification saying it's running on port 1214. There it is. So that is now up and running as well. And then we just want to run our uh, disable error plugin as well. We'll give that one a try. Okay, so that also actually took quite a while there. But as you can see, it is now running. And there it is, patched out the error messages. You also have the startup option, which allows you to launch the plugin when ETA Hen is loaded. So you can enable that if you want, although I wouldn't really recommend enabling that feature on test plugins because obviously there could be some issues with the test plugins and if it causes a problem on ETA Hen startup, then that could prevent you from loading ETA Hen in the future without removing the plugin. It's really not an option that I would personally enable for the test plugins right now. So we should be all good to go right here. So let's go ahead and give this a test run. 
So switching back over to my computer, I can enter the IP address of the PS5 in my web browser with colon 1214. And then that should get us connected over here so we can accept. And as you can see, we now have access to Air PSX. So all of the stuff is working here and it's showing that we're not even running any applications right now, but we do have access over here. Now, I'm not going to go into major detail on all of the features in here because I already made a video on this before. So I'll just leave a link to that down below if you want to check out all of the different features that this has. But the main one that wasn't working properly through the Homebrew launcher that should work now through an ETA Hen plugin is the application launcher. So we'll open this up here and I'll open up a window so that you can see the results here on the PS5 itself. So all we have to do here is select something like items flow and then we can click run application from our web browser. And as you can see, it launches on the PS5 itself. How cool is that? So that is now up and running and there we are. Awesome. Let's say I want to launch a game, for instance. Let's launch Stray. I'll click Stray, run application and bam, it launches. Now it says failed to launch application there. As you can see, that's because we're launching this as a, a flow game or fake game. And there we go, we're now in the start screen. And this is what I really love about this, is that I can also use this to go straight into another application or another game while I'm already in a game right here. So now I want to play a Plague's Tale Requiem. I can click Run Application and bam, we go straight from Stray, the main menu of Stray, to loading up uh, a Plague's Tale Requiem here. So check that out. And there it goes. Focus Entertainment. And as you can see, when we ran it there, we never got the universal data registration error. And that's a message that you will normally see whenever you launch a game backup is that universal data registration error message, which isn't too bad when you first launch the game. But there are some games like a Plague's Tale Requiem here where normally it would start spamming a bunch of these messages all over your screen every so often, uh, which is highly distracting when you're trying to play the game. So this error patching, as you can see here, has patched that out. It would have normally shown up by now once it gets into the main menu you would have some of those messages spammed on the screen. So the plugin is successfully patching those out so that you can play your game in peace. So honestly, I could just play with this all day. It's ridiculous. Like, let's launch the homebrew store. And then we just go straight from our game into the homebrew store. I just love that this is now a thing. It reminds me a lot of, you know, things like neighborhoods, like Xbox 360 neighborhoods and, you know, similar things for PS3 and stuff where you can remotely launch applications. It's nice that we can actually do stuff like that here. Uh, on the PS5 now. So yeah, awesome stuff here. Obviously it has a file manager and many other things. Check out my previous video on Air PSX to see a lot of the features that are built in here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how much better it is running as a plugin with the ability to remotely launch apps and it doesn't disconnect you when you switch between different applications now. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.